In the context of Matthew chapter 9 verses 1 to 8, Jesus encounters a paralyzed man brought to him by a group of men. Instead of immediately healing the man physically, Jesus first says, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. This statement sparks controversy among the teachers of the law who accuse Jesus of blasphemy because only God can forgive sins. By forgiving sins, Jesus demonstrates his divine authority. He reveals that he is not merely a healer but also the one who can reconcile humanity with God. This challenges the religious leaders' understanding of God's authority. Jesus' forgiveness addresses the man's spiritual condition. Physical healing is significant, but spiritual healing is even more crucial. Sin separates us from God, and forgiveness bridges that gap. The man's faith and the faith of those who brought him plays a role. Forgiveness requires faith in Jesus as the Son of God. Jesus later heals the man physically, emphasizing the interconnectedness of spiritual and physical well-being. The phrase extends beyond that specific moment. It reminds us that Jesus offers forgiveness to all who come to him in faith. We can find forgiveness and restoration through him. In summary, your sins are forgiven encapsulates Jesus' authority. The importance of spiritual healing and the need for faith. It invites us to seek forgiveness and experience transformation through Him. Amen.